Hey, and welcome back to another MetaSound tutorial for Unreal Engine 5. In the last tutorial, we created a simple sign generator and we were able to control the volume with the mixer here. In this tutorial, we'll, we will show how to play back samples using the Wave Player node. So to get started, let's right click in the graph here and we'll get a list of options of new nodes to add. We're looking for the Wave Player. So if we add this to our graph, you'll see there are quite a bit more options for our input and output pins here. The ones that we are most worried about is the play, as well as our out left and right. So I will create a similar structure with a mixer going to an output. So let's repeat that. If I click and drag the output pin of our audio purple colored out left pin, you'll see the options that are available to hook into this pin. I would like to connect a stereo mixer. Now that we have left and right outputs, we'll need to use the stereo mixer for both of those, those inputs rather than the mono mixer where we just had one. So let's hook up the left and right. And finally, we'll create another gain control in the, in the float input here, the green colored inputs. By clicking and dragging, I can get another list of available nodes. The one I'm interested in is the promote to graph input so that we can control the volume of our sound while the meta sound is playing. So just so that we don't get any nasty surprises, let's turn the volume down to zero. And I'll just rename this for clarity, wave player volume or level, let's call it the, it right, looks like from up, up a past uh, example, that, that name is in use. So let's just call it wave level. And finally, if I want to hook up the, the outputs here, you'll notice that I now have left and right outputs, but in MetaSound, I only have a single mono output. So to get stereo output from our MetaSound, we'll have to go to the MetaSound settings and change the output format from mono to stereo. You'll notice now the output node has changed. We have two inputs here. So let's click and drag each of these pins to our outputs. And finally, we've completed the, the graph for a simple wave player setup, except for one little detail. The thing about the wave player that differs a lot from the sign generator is this little play input here. If we don't trigger the sound, it will never play back. So when we, when we opened up a new meta sound, we had this little input node here that says on play. So basically when we play back our meta sound, we will get a trigger or an impulse from this, this pin here. So we want to use that in, input, that um, impulse to trigger our, our wave player to play back our sample. So I just clicked and dragged again from the on play pin to the play pin. And this will play back the asset once we press that play button. Now, one more thing we haven't considered. We, we haven't even chosen a sound to play back. So we can manually select one in the wave asset here. We have a menu select asset. Let's just choose the fire asset. And finally, I would like that asset to just loop. It's just going to play back over and over and over. And let's give this a shot. So let's press the play button up here and I will slowly fade in the sound with the, the wave level control of the gain. So as, as you can see, we triggered the sound using this input node. Uh, the, the sound comes out the left and right outputs here that are colored purple that correspond to all audio signals. We controlled the volume using this input here, the green corresponding to uh, float values or decimal numbers. And finally, the volume was output to our now stereo output, which we changed in the meta sound options here. So that's it for this tutorial on how to play back samples in the new MetaSound environment in Unreal Engine 5.